Yo, it's Dawes Does It, episode 26, top 12 sitcom of the fucking 90s, people. You know what it is, baby. Remember, like, share, subscribe, relevant television. Keep elevating. You know how we doing it. So listen, I'm Rule Mentions goes as follows, and I want to hear nothing about this. This is the top 90s sitcoms. Do your fucking homework and find out what sitcoms mean, okay? And remember, it's only the 90s, people. That's what we're focused on. So the honorable mentions goes as follows. Jamie Foxx Show, Wayans Brothers, Moesha, Home Improvement, Boy Meets World, Full House, Growing Pains, Girlfriends, Steve Harvey Show. That's how we doing it. That's how we bumming. You see what's going on out here. Everybody can't go. So now we're going to get into this list and we're going to get into this list right. Starting off with number 12. Family Matters. Yo, listen, we all know the vibes, man. Waldo Geraldo Faldo was the freshest nigga on that show. All right? Fuck Steve Urkel. We already know what he was about. Did I ain't do that? Fucking dweeb. And But then, you know what's up. Got that little sprinkle in him. Walked through that little machine he made and bam. He was that fun. My son got tired of being a geek out here and being lame. And always have to go to them stupid ass mall signings and be Steve Urkel every goddamn time he walked out the house. That nigga wasn't with the shit. He's like, nah, I'm Jaleel White. You see me out here, I'm Stephon in it. What you saying? Laura, she was subpar, but all her friends was lit. We all know that. But then, yo, what happened to the little sister that went upstairs when they said, go to your room? And she never came back. What was her name, Judy? Like, Judy never returned. And we never had answers. And they act like we ain't know, but we knew. Had social media would have been popping. We'd have definitely had you back on the show, baby girl, but it's all right. We can go watch with some pornos now. Number 11. Thank, Thank you for being a friend. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Travel back. Yo, Golden Girls, y'all. Come on, man. They the original Sex in the City without even being in the city. If Sex in the City had to fucking, like, retire, those would be them bros, my nigga. I love me some Golden Girls, baby. Sophia. G, certified G, and her daughter was a daughter, Dorothy? Yo, did you know she was the oldest actress on the show? Let's salute Betty White, cause she's an icon out here, still doing it. Bugging? Nah, every time she touch SNL, it's lit, nigga. You know what the vibes is. Let's go, I'ma holler. And Blanche, don't think I forgot about you with your cougar ass. You was the original, you understand me? You was out here making Afghans look like lingerie, love. Ooh, I see you, Blanche. You know the vibes? That accent had me rocking. Love you, baby. Golden Girls, you know what it is. Number 10, Friends. Low key, they jacked the show from one of the greatest shows ever made and just made a white version, but we're gonna get into that later. But neither here nor there, Friends is a legendary show. They are iconic. I mean, as they should be. It was funny as hell. I didn't watch it too often, but every time I did watch it, I was like, yo, these white boys be wowing. And then, you know, you had Jennifer Aniston with her, like, iconic major haircut. She was ill back then, you know what I'm saying? So, salute to Friends, number 10. We rounded it off, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibe. Moving on. Number nine. Woo! Number nine. Saved by the Bell. Zach, A.C. Slater, Screech, Lisa Turtle, Kelly Kapowski, Mr. Belding, and what was shorty name? Jesse Spano. That's your name, love. I ain't forget about you. Remember that episode when you was popping pills? You were so excited and then you were so scared. That shit was legendary. That's when I knew popping pills can do you dirty out here. I think her real name was like Elizabeth Berkeley or some shit like that. Yo, she had the first NC-17 movie I ever seen in my life. Show girls is when Shorty took it all off and we was like, oh, snap. That was a good show. Then my nigga Screech was doing porn later on. Rest in peace, Dustin Diamond. I know you out here dead and all that, but yo, my nigga, you started wowing after the show, bro. It's like you had money and then you ain't know what to do with it. Why do teen stars always get the bag and fumble it? I never understood it. 
Whatever. Moving on. Number eight. The original friend. Living single. The iconic living single. Regine, I see you, baby. Can't feel you've been always tooty to me, but you regime forever now. Cause you was out here regime. Hey, Queen Latifah. Ladies first. Maxine Shaw, you could represent me anytime you want, all right? Attorney at law, I love you. Overton, always stay with the good temps, you know what I'm saying? Kyle Barker, your dress was never really right, but they was okay, you was getting money and you was a black nigga that I knew was getting money legally. You guys were epic. Yo, fun fact about living single. Their pilot episode was actually shot on the set of Family Matters. Most people ain't peeped that. But we peeped that over here at Relevant Television because we do our homework and we know mad shit that y'all don't know because we wow smart over here. Number seven, one of Tupac's homies. Who's the boss? Tony Danza. You know what's up, man. New York stand up for your boy Tony, B. Shout out to Angela, man. Angela to this day, she still look good. I seen her the other day. I see her often, you know what I'm saying? I used to see her often, I ain't gonna hold you. She was a good people's. But that show was lit. That's why I saw a lot of Jordans as well, because Tony always had some J's on. Take a look back. And Alyssa Milano was a joint then, and she's still a joint now. You know what I mean? And the grandma, Mona? Mona! <laughs> Who's the Boss was a good show. Wow, comedy. Wow, ill. And that's the first time I ever seen like a man doing like the whole housekeeping job that was white. You know what I'm saying? Because it's usually a black dude like Benson or like Jeffrey or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So when this nigga was out here doing a nanny and a housekeeper and shit, I was like, what the fuck is going on? But who's the boss? Tony Dan's a fire show. Number six, Seinfeld. I don't even have to say much. You know what I mean? I mean, well, yeah, I do. You know I will. I'm going to say a lot. Kramer was a racist after we found that out. But, you know, psh, show is still lit. Show is lit. You know what I mean? I ain't even really need no black people on this show at all. This show was comedy throughout. Larry David knew what he was doing. He never failed, ever. You know what I mean? Every damn character was elite. I'ma never, ever forget George. I named my first car after George Costanza because I had a Nissan Stanza, George Costanza. My nigga name was George. My car's name was George. Cause niggas was like, why you call your car George? Cause it's a Stanza, George Costanza. A lot of people ain't get it, but I did. Anyway, yo, when my son had the bubble on, the Gore-Tex, best episode ever. My son couldn't even put his arms down. That shit was fire. Yo, Seinfeld, man, good show, man. One of the best sitcoms ever made, man. Longest running on NBC, to be exact. Number five, top five that are alive. The Cosby Show, y'all. Come on, man. He was like the first black dad I ever seen successful. He played a doctor, his wife was a lawyer. All the kids went to good school. They all got good grades, except for Denise with her sexy ass. She dropped out because she knew she ain't even need that shit. Because she was getting taken care of by some other nigga. Typical black shit. Pretty girl, get taken care of, she was kept. You know what I mean? That's all it was. But then my man Elvin, this nigga was wild, misogynistic. He had the craziest logic. Remember my nigga Cockroach? Yo, that was Theo's homie. Who that was later on? Cody Cole. Next time y'all watch the Cosby Show, look through the credits of one of them producers. His name is Gordon Gartrell. Who's actually Gordon Gartrell? The designer that my nigga Theo had on when his sister was trying to make him the fake shirt. Gordon Gartrell, man, I gotta get the Gordon Gartrell. How much Gordon Gartrell cost? Like three hundred dollars. That shirt better come with five extra brothers, and you better be singing on stage. Remember that episode? Yo, and then she was like, yo, I made you a shirt. Uh, I'll make it for you for $80, whatever, whatever the fuck it was. And then my son was like, it's tucked into my socks. That shit was the best episode ever. Then all his friends was jacking that ugly ass shirt. So make the long story short, Gordon Gartrell is actually a producer from the show. His name was just cool as fuck, and they use it as the name of the fucking shirt. Pow. Boom. Also, Cam from fucking... Bill Cosby was later on Maxine on Living Single, and never forget Raven Simone got her start on that show. And if you take a look back in a couple episodes, Rudy's little homies, yo, that episode when they went to Circus Burger, and then he came back and was giving them more like horsey rides on his knee. One of them little girls was Alicia Keys. Number four, the spinoff of the Cosby Show different world because remember denise had to go to school but we ain't want to get rid of denise because denise was ill until she left that shit and was like yo we really can't work with her on this set because you know she was just crazy back then she was going through her lenny kravitz phase but bomb 
out of nowhere, Jasmine God flourishes, Marissa Tomei was on there one time, boom, then my nigga Dwayne Wayne, Kadeem Hardison, he was out there flourishing. Come on, man, and this is where all of Jordan's lie. Never forget that. Then, we fast forward a little bit because the show's had legs. Then Jada Pinkett pops on the scene. She brings on guest stars like Tupac. Come on, people. Different World is a good show. And they had real topics at all time, culturally relevant to this day. You know what I mean? This is where we actually got to see HBCUs actually flourish the right way. You know what I mean? Real talk. Good black cast, good black show, good black writing. Top three. More Jordans, people. Fresh Prince. Come on, B. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. You don't only fall that out of Yo, this man took his nephew from the hood, brought him to the fucking burbs, bougie-ass burbs to be exact, and said, yo, I'm going to take care of you and my kids as well because I'm getting that bag as a lawyer out here in Bel Air. Don't trip. And I'm not going to ask this question in a negative way, but yo, which Aunt Viv did y'all like better? The dark skin Aunt Viv or the light skin Aunt Viv? You can leave that comment in the comments. I want to know, dead serious. Cause I ain't gonna hold you my opinion. I like dark skin Aunt Viv better. Cause when she hit the motherfucking dance one, that, that episode, she was like, mm, 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 killing it. I was like, hey Aunt Viv. Good episode. You saw the reunion, Will did her dirty, but we ain't gonna go into that. He was a childish little nigga with too much money and he ain't know how to act. But neither here nor there. Shout out to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Jazzy Jeff, you already know what it was. You're the most iconic DJ. You know the vibes. We already gave you your flowers. But remember, psh, good show. Number two. Y'all ain't never gonna guess this show. Married with Children. Al Bundy is a hero of mine. You have no idea. This man to this day is the GOAT. That show was wild. He said whatever he wanted, did whatever he felt. Yo, my man stepped on the scene, laid on that couch, put his hands in his waist, and chilled all day. If it wasn't for Peg, yo, most of y'all girls wouldn't even know to put the belt underneath the boobies. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Kelly Bundy, she had the swoop. Wow, come on, B. She was lit. Let's talk Bud. Bud, Bud's probably the original scammer. Let's keep it tall. Cause we don't know how Bud always had bread, but Bud always had bread. And then let's talk about Marcy and what was the other, well, I don't even know her husband's name, but yo, he was, they was lit over on that side, you know what I mean? That was a good show, man, for real. My man, Al Bunny used to stay with the biggins, reading the biggins at, at work, any given Sunday, man, that show was always hilarious. It never failed. One of the best shows ever made. To this day, I don't know how that show ain't even get canceled. Cause that show gets love on syndication and rerun. Cause that show is foul, <laughs> like for real. One of the best shows ever made, sorry. Argue with me if you want. And if you don't know what the show is, unfollow me. And if your show didn't make this list, everybody can't go and remember it's about the 90s shows, period. So with that being said, we gonna get into number one. We already know what time it is. I don't have to go no further. Martin, come on B, to this day, Name a show that had better satire, skits, guest appearances, fashion, everything under the sun. Even characters that weren't played by Martin that were incorporated into the show are icons. Hustle Man, Bro Man from the Fifth Flow, Fifth Flow, Stan, Miss Pearly, or whatever her name was, Key Lolo. Where did Tommy actually work? We will never know. Rest in peace to Tommy. We even saw Big Shirley once. But Martin was an iconic show of the 90s and still is to this day. It's generational. My daughter watches it. She's nine. One of my favorite episodes I will never forget. My nigga Biggie came on with the Sergio Tatini shirt on. I mean, Sergio Tatini suit on fire. And when Martin went, oh, Martin went to go see Varnell Hill and he got dubbed. But the nigga was out here rocking with KC, JoJo. That shit was comedy, my nigga. Are you shitting me? But that's it. That's how we coming. That's what we talking about. Top 90s sitcoms of all times, man. If you didn't make the list, guess what? Everybody can't go. And be on the lookout for them. Everybody can't go shirts coming soon. Cause that link gonna hit y'all real fast. You know the vibes. I'm going to holler at y'all next week.